Hello everybody, this is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. This is the uh, part number two of our EMP, EMF room for our batteries. Uh, we've made a little progress. We're starting the framing, as you can see, it's starting to take shape. We got a long way to go though, folks. It's not even nowhere close to, be, to being done. But I just wanted to show you step by step of what we're doing. We are going way overboard on this. We're going to end up probably putting four layers, maybe even five layers of metal, of screen, of uh, aluminum foil on this to keep the, uh, the EMF radiation enclosed. And also we want to make this a hardened shelter for our... Uh, charge controller and our inverter so in, just in case there is a coronal mass ejection from the sun like the Carrington event uh, or a nuclear detonation from uh, Russia China Iran or North Korea and they launch an EMP this room right here will be protected from an EMP pulse weapon and that's what we're hoping for so you know we won't know till we get it all done but uh, let me just show you what we're doing. So we got this wall. This is going to be the outer wall. And we're going to put plywood on the outside here. Plywood's going to be here. And if you can imagine, in the center here, we're going to have a screen. Um, it's going to be like a screen door, but going the other way with copper mesh wire on it. So uh, I, I'm not going to enclose the entire room because I need air circulation going on in the room. So down to this point, we already have our top ledge right here. We're gonna take it down to about right here where my finger is, and we're gonna make a frame, and then we're gonna put wire on the frame, and we're going to wrap it. As you can see, what's all this stuff here? Well, this is the silver cloth. This is one layer. This is the aluminum foil. We're gonna wrap the wood just like this, like a Christmas present. So this whole enclosure, as you can see, we got the, the uh, aluminum foil. We got the silver cloth made out of silver and zinc. This is going to be wrapped. This entire enclosure is going to be wrapped like a Christmas present, if you can visualize that. So what we're doing, we're adding another layer uh, to it. This is, um, this is hardware cloth. This is layer number four. Now up here, we have the silver cloth, we have the aluminum foil, and then we have the black paint. Just like down here, if you can, if you can see this, we haven't got this covered yet, but here's the silver cloth. This is one layer. We have the aluminum foil, then we have the black graphene paint. So that's three layers. So what we're doing, we're gonna put a fourth layer, and this is quarter inch, quarter inch hardware cloth and we might even go with five layers so like i said anytime i do something i go overboard um you know i only want to do this once because uh this whole project is going to be a a massive project and i don't have any blueprints for this i go i i build as i go so um you got to be able to think outside the box you got to be able to make uh measurements and cuts you got to build it in your head, visualize it in your head, and then build it out. And that's what I do. Uh, I've been in construction for over 25 years, so I do this all the time. So it's, it's not hard for me, but it still takes a lot of calculation, a lot of thinking, uh, a lot of planning. Uh, wake up like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning uh, thinking how I'm going to do this. But this is going to be one wall. As you can see, here's the layers going in. We have the aluminum foil. We have the cloth, and then over this, we're going to do the wire mesh. This wire mesh is going to be rolled out, as you can see, over everything. And then we're going to put plywood on the wall. So you're not going to see any of this. Once this uh, room is done, you're not going to see these two before studs. All you're going to see is uh, plywood. It's going to be finished all out in wood. And then on top of that, that's where we're going to mount the charge controllers, all the wiring, and uh, and all the uh, all the hookups. So down below is going to be the battery bank. It's going to have 20 L16 batteries. 
20 L16 batteries. That's why I poured this cement. So by the time I'm done, I'm probably going to have about $2,000 invested in this. And uh, we're going to try to do a fundraiser early next month if you guys want to help chip in. Like I said, I really didn't want to have to do this, but it's um, uh, I've been meaning to do this. But the last uh, live chat we did, I was doing it downstairs and it fried my brain, folks. And I got to get this corrected in my house. Um, that's why I hadn't been doing any breaking news because of the headaches and everything. And I'm actually working on this and not feeling good, but I got to get going. You know, I can't stay in the bed all day long. So this is the ceiling. You can see we have wires running up in the ceiling. I have to cut these wires. Actually, I'm going to cut them way back here. And we're going to bring, we're going to bring this solar wires down here to the wall so we can, uh, put the charge controllers here on the wall so that's why the ceiling is not done we just started working on this but you can see the layers going up in the ceiling we have the aluminum foil we have the silver cloth we're going to put the the hardware cloth right here we're going to put that up in the ceiling we're probably going to even put some copper mesh wire so we're going to have five five layers of metal uh to keep in all of the uh the electromagnetic frequencies that um this electrical system uh, gives out. So anyway, I just wanted to show you our progress on our room. It is coming along. Um, it just takes a lot of work, folks. But see, I've got the foil up there. What we're going to do, we're going to wrap everything. See, I've got it hanging down. We're going to wrap everything like a Christmas present. And then we're going to put wood on here. And everything's going to be connected and grounded um, to a ground rod. So uh, all the energy, if we do have a uh, an EMP, it'll go into the ground and not into your electronic devices. So um, this is a lot of work. Uh, I really didn't want to have to do this, but uh, you know, there's no time like the present. So um, let me step back a minute, and hopefully you can uh, you can see it a little bit better. I'm trying to get the whole view. So it is taking shape. It's going to be probably couple weeks to get this done i got to go to the store uh we got to buy six more six more rolls of this um hardware cloth it's only 10 foot long 36 inches wide we already put one piece all the way up to here we're going to have an outlet here for a plug-in for a battery charger we're also going to have a light we're putting a light up in the top and we're going to put a light switch right here on the wall we're also going to have another outlet down here and all this has got to be wired to our, our panel box or breaker panel box so this is a pretty big project um most people can't do this uh you know unless you're in construction so this is my trade this is what i do uh, i was a chef for 20 years and then i went into uh, remodeling houses so anyway uh, a lot of stuff going on in the world we'll try to get you a breaking news update on another video but i wanted to show you part two of our emp room it is coming together uh this is two more additional days of work since our last video so this is actually two days of work since we put out our last video part one so hopefully by part three um we'll have a lot more done but i can't really put the front on this because i've got to work in here so there's boards there's uh there's going to be two by fours that go across here to hold the battery bank. I cannot install them to the last until I get my floor in. So even on the floor, I'm out of breath here. Uh, even on the floor, you can see the foil going down and also the cloth. This is going to go on the floor. So there's going to be three or four layers uh, on the whole enclosure. And you have to cover every square inch. Uh, if you don't, it will not work. So hopefully uh, this is not a waste of money. And once we get all done, uh, it will block the EMF signals, electronic, electronic um, magnetic uh, radiation from getting out and polluting the house. That's our main goal. And our second goal is to make it uh, EMP proof uh, to protect our electronics from an EMP pulse weapon. So God bless you. Thank you for watching, folks. Please hit the uh, subscribe button uh and uh hopefully uh we'll get you another video shortly so god bless you jesus christ is coming back soon don't be caught dead without him bye bye